What's up, Space Chickens? This is the Alien Photog. And if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I'm an alien abductee. I personally uh, enjoy working with the group that I work with. And I've had some unique experiences with it. And uh, decided to start posting them to YouTube not too long ago. And to be honest, I've been overwhelmed with the response I've been getting. And thank you guys very much. First off, I appreciate everybody who even just listens to hear what I have to say. That really means a lot to me. It really does. So thank you very much. And I've been getting a bunch of questions from people lately. I, I just a ton of them every day. And I try to get back to everybody as well as I can. And sometimes I, people's emails will get lost in, uh, in everybody else's. But there's some questions that I get repeatedly. So I decided it was a good time to make another video and answer some of those. Um, since they're questions that obviously a lot of people have been asking. But if you're interested in what I have to say, and it still surprises me, many people are. I, I think it's cool. I, I've been wanting to uh, help people understand things for a long time now. It's cool to be able to. Feel free to check out my YouTube channel. There's a whole bunch of other videos there. And subscribe while you're there because I'll be releasing some for, uh, for quite some time to come, I think. All right, right out of the gate, I want to answer the question that I get probably not the most often, but one I get quite a bit, which is why should I believe you? And I usually tell people, you know, believe me or don't, really doesn't matter to me. But on this particular video, if you want to go to the very last part, I'll put a link down here as to why, you know, I'll, I'll answer that question candidly. But I don't want to get drugged down on that in the beginning here. I want to leave that for the end, but if uh, if you want to know why you should believe me, go ahead and click on that. And if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. I'm entirely at peace at this point with the fact that not everyone will believe what I have to say. That's okay. I wish I did a better job at whatever it is I could do to get people to believe me. I feel like I fall short when people don't, but the overwhelming response has been good. So, maybe in time. But to give you the short story about it, uh, this has been happening since I was eight. It became extremely intense this last year. And it was through those intense experiences I came to understand what was going on better. Which took a lot of time and patience to anybody who has this going on. I understand that it'll take some time, it'll take a lot of patience to get many answers, say if any. I've been fortunate enough to get quite a few and to learn how to access things that have happened in my memory. And I think everybody can do that, but it takes a tremendous amount of time and patience and effort. So that's why I answer questions. That's why I talk. To help people out who are going through this and feel alone, because you're not at all. You wouldn't believe how many people have written me saying that, that uh, they have this happening too. All right, so first thing I'm gonna to touch on is a lot of people are wanting to know what they've done in recent history to influence society or to help society out. And my answer to that is always, well, they've done a lot of things. The evolution of our society has been incredibly rapid within especially the last 100, 120, 150 years. When you stop and consider that airplanes and the car aren't much more than a century old and you look around today it, it kind of strikes you as to how much has changed in a hundred years which in reality is a short period of time it's you know a human lifespan can hit a hundred years sometimes but look at the difference today and imagine what that was like literally just 150 years ago as we were leaving the civil war here in america look at the difference in technology and weapons which has also evolved absolutely almost exponentially our ability to kill each other. And then especially look at the last 20 years in general at the computer technology that's come out. It's unbelievable. I mean, you guys know how it is. You, you go, you buy whatever it is you want that's electronic, and six months later, it's literally out of date. And alien technology is the reason that most of this came about. And for anybody who has a hard time believing that, go look at the pyramids, which is still strongly debated, and I don't know how, because clearly they are not man-made. And just the dimensions of them are incredible. I was reading today something interesting, that they're 481 feet tall, the tallest Great Pyramid, and that's almost exactly one billionth of the distance from the Earth to the Sun, which is 480.6 billion feet. Isn't that fascinating? I mean, it's just the sort of calculations that have been done in not only that, but many other, in many other societies around the world are just, they're beyond explanation. Humans cannot have done that. And there's actually a great show that I watched that can explain this much better than I did. Somebody really took the time to look into this. And it's a History Channel show, Ancient Aliens. I'm going to put a link for that at the end of uh, the last part of this. And if you're interested in this, absolutely check out that show. I think it's, it's almost two hours long, but it's incredible. The things that they point out I, are things I didn't know about before. But another question, a follow-up question I get to have they impacted our society recently is how do they pick who they give the information to? Well, all the information's out there. It's just universal knowledge that much of it we've yet to be able to attain. And from my own personal experience, there's a good chance that many of the people who developed these technologies were not aware of where they got them from. Because the way they erase your memory is so complete. But I'm not certain of that because I've, un 
unfortunately not had uh, the opportunity to meet a lot of inventors of things. But, boy, I love to meet uh, Tesla. I like to talk to Bill Gates. He told me some interesting things about him. Big sense. And, uh, you know, you look at guys like Einstein, Stephen Hawking. Man has an innate earning to chalk up our own successes to ourselves, which is silly, really. We like to toot our own horn and say, look what we figured out when we're really so far behind. Not necessarily behind, we're just unevolved. We haven't been around that long. But the fact of the matter is there's beings that get us this information some way or another. And I'm not entirely sure what that process is. I don't think we sit in a classroom up there. I think that's an incredibly inefficient way of learning. I think it's probably more downloaded into the brain because the brain's an incredible thing that people do not utilize fully in any way, shape, or form. So there's plenty of void there to shoot all sorts of information. But how do they pick people, ask? And, and that's the interesting thing that I've just recently come to learn. And any time there's something I don't understand about the whole process, and how they picked people was one of those things I didn't fully understand. I knew it had to do with family, bloodlines, and all that. But it's always so logical. <laughs> when It's the most obvious thing that you never think of. Best place to hide something's in clear sight, right? But here's how it happens. Pretty much all abductees are hybrids, is how this works. Which makes sense. And you're uh, chipped or tagged before you're born. And I went into some information on the hybrid program in another video that I did, and I'll put a link to that at the last end of the last part of this too, but I don't want to get too deep into that right now. Because people have a lot of mixed feelings about that, which I understand. But if you feel like you're an abductee, I really feel like that's something I need to tell you that you need to look at and come to terms with and see if you can recall. See if you can remember the tube. <laughs> probably not, but they've probably shown them to you afterwards in, in some way. Certainly as a child, they seem to show abductees slash their children that they create. They tend to show them the tubes. And there's a lot of hybrids down here now. And looking at it that way is particularly interesting because if we go back far enough in our ancestry, we all have a common mold that we came from us the aliens every intelligent being in the universe which i believe is created by by the supreme creator in his form meaning we're all probably parts of him which is hard to believe but if you're able to look under your skin with a microscope and see what happened just to make your fingers wiggle it fits you know back in the 60s and 70s when this round of abduction started occurring which if you look at our lifespan in 2012 is proper timing you know for for these multiple hybrids to be released to the world and I'm one of them but they would bring out a black box that had a hybrid fetus in it to the people and show it to them and this scared the hell out of people <laughs> they were genuinely surprised at the response of this but they knew we didn't understand telepathy so they couldn't talk to us really they never used their mouths to speak I think they can make a squeal type noise if they need to I don't know why I just I've heard that apparently but um, anyway, <laughs> this is nonverbal communication at its best. <laughs> you know, this is one of you, and that's what they're trying to show with a black box. That's what they're trying to say. Not that we want to kill your babies. That's not what they're... <laughs> a lot of people won't understand that, though. And I, I get why that is pushing it for some people. But the biggest reason people get upset is because they say their individual rights are being infringed upon when people are abducted and you mess with their genes. Well, now that we know that abductees were hybrids in the first place, there's much you can say about that. And even if you could, who wouldn't want the genes of a superior race of beings interspliced with their own? What better gift can you give your family to the people that will follow down your genetic line? What better gift can you give them? But this has been happening for a long time. Long, long, long time. It's being done in a major way now because of 2012, so there's a bunch of hybrids around for the change to help redirect society. They seem to prefer to let us do our own thing. I really don't know coming into 2012 whether or not I expect to see them on the ground more. I don't think so. I think that's going to take some time after 2012 before that can happen. I think whether it happens it largely depends on how we respond to this entire change that's happening to us. Because there's nothing saying that we have to make it a successful positive change. And everyone needs to be aware of that.